What's going on? Joe Mills here. Uh, using my cell phone camera today just because I forgot my GoPros. So, you know, we're doing some fall cleanup today. Uh, me and a guy who works at the garden as well. Uh, but I'm also a steel guy. We got two of these lovely BR600s here doing some stuff. Just cleared out that bed. Um, put two BR600s on myself, one on my back, one on my front. That's something to see. Um, and Daniel is, uh, he is uh, cleaning out the leaf bag right now off our back. So, um, but yeah, this is pretty much how we do it. It used to be last year I would just blow the stuff out and then tarp it, and then stuff on the lawn I would get with the mower. Um, so I'm gonna go over in the next few weeks here the best ways to do leaf removal. And it's going to be a part of my video, the top ways to do leaf removal for either if you run a lawn service or you do it for yourself at home. Uh, there's lots of different ways you can do leaf removal. So of course, I'll start with, uh, with way number one. You got a rake. Rakes are good because they're cheap. Pick up a rake at Home Depot for like less than 10 bucks. You can get a nice plastic tine one like this. Or you can get a wire tying one, like that. Uh, me personally, for doing delicate bed areas, I prefer the wire rake, uh, just because it gets around plants easier and doesn't tear it up as much as the plastic rake does. Uh, the plastic rake is good for large lawn areas and on bed edges and stuff. Next, you got blowers. Uh, we got these guys are steel BR600 backpack blowers. Um, I heavily recommend this model. One of them is actually mine. I own one of them. The other one is owned by the garden. Uh, anyway guys, I'll continue this video later. I uh, gotta get back to work. I will see you guys later. Shout out to Xmark. Awesome company. Thank you guys so much.
beating inside your chest has vanished into thin air, never to be seen. Thank you.